Now I'm going to talk about a very important result that involves the supremum of a set and sequences of real numbers. This proposition says the following. Let A be a non-empty subset of the real line that is bounded above. And let alpha be the supremum of A. As you know, alpha is a real number because of the completeness axiom. The conclusion of the theorem says that then there exists a sequence A n in A. That means A n belongs to A for every n in A. Such that the limit of A n as n approaches infinity is equal to alpha. So let me go through the proof of this proposition. And the proof is very simple based on the um, so-called epsilon characterization of uh, the supremum that we um, mentioned earlier. So now if you take any natural number n and you subtract 1 over n from alpha. In this situation, if you use epsilon equals 1 over n, you know that it is a positive number. So uh, by the epsilon characterization for the supremum, there exists some a n in a such that a n is strictly greater than alpha minus epsilon, that is alpha minus 1 over n. And at the same time, because a n belongs to a, and alpha is an upper bound of the set a, alpha is greater than or equal to a n. Okay? And because this is true for all n in n, note that as n approaches infinity, alpha minus 1 over n converges to alpha. And the constant sequence alpha converges to alpha as well. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, the limit of a n as n approaches infinity is equal to alpha. And now, here is an, an example. a here is the open interval minus infinity to 2. The supremum of a is 2. So, by the conclusion of this proposition, there should be a sequence in a not converted to 2. And we can easily find an example of a sequence in A not converted to 2. For example, let A n be 2 minus 1 over n for n run in the set of all natural numbers. Then you can see that A n is in A for every n and the limit of A n as n approaches infinity is 2. Let me talk about an important remark. From the previous uh, proposition, we know that if A is non-empty and bounded above, then we can find a sequence in A that converges to the supremum of the set. The question now is that what if A is non-empty but not bounded above? We have a very nice observation that if A is just a non-empty set, then there exists a sequence in A such that the limit of A n as n approaches infinity equals the supremum of the set. We only need to focus on the case where A is not bounded above because again, if A is bounded above, this conclusion follows from the previous proposition. Okay, so now because A is not bounded above, it doesn't have any upper bound. Okay, that means if you take any natural number n, say 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, you can always find some a n in a such that a n is strictly greater than n. Why is it true? It is based on a remark that I mentioned before. So, because a is not bounded above, it doesn't have any upper bound. Okay? So, in particular, any natural number here cannot be an upper bound of the set A. Any natural number N. That means you can always find some element of A that is strictly greater than N. Okay? So, again, for any N in N, you can find A N in A such that N is strictly less than A N. Now, as n approaches infinity, 
this sequence diverges to infinity. So by the comparison theorem, lim a n as n approaches infinity is infinity. And because a is not bounded above, the supremum of a is infinity. So this conclusion remains valid in the case where a is non-empty and not bounded above. So in general, if a is a non-empty set of the real line, you can always find a sequence a n in a such that lim of a n as n approaches infinity equals the supremum of the set a.